All right, another video intended to help me get some feedback um, and design advice on the mobile robot platform. This, looking like that. Right now, with this one, we're, in this video, we're going to talk about how I intend to attach the wheels to the robot body and couple with the motors. Um, this is the toughest part for me to do. Um, I decided that using like belts or a gear driven thing would be too difficult for me. So I want to directly couple the motor with the uh, shaft, the, the axle shaft on the wheel. And as I mentioned in another video, I found a coupler that's readily available that I don't have yet. That would do four millimeters to a uh, quarter inch. This cork is helping me um, decide and then model that and see how it would work. My initial thought was I was going to put this motor to the, the base of the robot with straps, um, use the coupler, and then directly just attach the wheel directly to the shaft, um, the shaft coupler. But then I realized that would put a lot of stress on the motor shaft, on the coupler itself. So I decided I probably had to come up with a different design. And that's what this board is helping me mock up. The robot's width is going to be 12 inches. So this is 6 inches. Each side will need this 6 inch space to work with. Um, I, using these eye bolts to hold the weight of the wheel, I would use these uh, bolts and washers to hold the um, the wheel in place, putting the bolt somewhere so that the wheel can't move uh, side to side this way. And then I would take the, the DC motor and that using conduit straps would strap that down and then it would be coupled to this, you know, using that coupler to couple it to the wheel, again using the bolts like that and the idea is that it would uh, turn. The wheel, I mentioned that the wheel's not completely true on this axle but it looks good enough. I think it would travel straight enough, we'll find out. Um, doing this, a challenge I found was that it was hard for me to line up these eye bolts real well to keep things straight too. So I started thinking about another approach that I can't find. It's this aluminum tubing that I've coated with some PVC to make it to protect and keep it softer. And the idea here is that instead of using the eye bolts, I could use conduit straps, small ones if I need to do some layers, and I'll just put the put the wheel on that and strap that to it. That might be a little easier to keep things um, from rattling. It fits really nicely. This is the uh, inner diameter of this is just perfect for the quarter inch bolt and I'd probably need enough things. I might even have to offset it a bit so that the motor is lined up vertically with that. But that's the idea so that uh, somehow this, uh, the weight of this axle and the wheel and all that isn't, isn't torquing on this motor, it's just, the motor just has to turn it and everything else is supported well. And like I said, this is the toughest part of the physical, of the mechanical design of this thing, so I'm definitely looking for some ideas and feedback from my panel of experts on this one. Um, that's about it.